evening, everybody. Hi, good evening, Philippines, and good morning in America. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I haven't really been watching the news too much the last few days. I just, I just couldn't take it. I told G it, it put me in a really negative attitude. Uh, so I've just been watching a lot of blogs and stuff like that. I'll show you our TV in a minute. Uh, but tonight we've already had our dinner. Gigi made her favorite, Kari Kari. It's the uh, first time I make my Kari Kari this time. I didn't taste the peanut butter like we normally do. When we go to the restaurants, it's like eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich with meat in it. No, that's okay. But how you rate it? It was good. I, uh, she restaurant was, in my Kari Kari. Well, yours I can eat. The rest <laughs> of them I can't eat. Uh, Thank but, you. Yeah, it was good. I, I actually wouldn't have mind a little more seasoning, but she was always scared because what's that paste you had? The shrimp paste, if yeah. you don't like the smell. It's, Actually, the curry curry, I told about the curry curry to Papa Bear that it is um, the seasoning is less salt because we Filipino, we usually eat curry curry together with shrimp paste, which we hate it, the yeah. smell. The smell. I, I grew up in a culture well. You know, my friends, me, the look and the smell is half the flavor, you know. And so when something burns my nose and burns my sense, I just really can't get that enthusiastic about it. And, and I try everything she cooks. I've tried other than one thing. I refuse to ever put it near my lips. It's this raw chicken fat balut. I'm never going to try that. <laughs> But the one thing, I've tried everything, even her dried fish. I put a taste in my mouth and it tastes like, anybody grew up on a farm in Mississippi or something like that, you know a salt lick. We used to mess with them as kids. We'd go up and stick our tongue on them. Mm -hmm. That's what the dried fish tastes like to me. It tastes like an oily salt lick. No reason for me to eat it, uh, but they love it. We love it just, for me, I love it um, once in a blue moon. But yeah. if it is every day, I don't like it. Well, I actually been showing her. We've been watching. What's it called? Deer eaters. Deer eater meat. Deer, that deer meat. Eater. Deer meat. Dinner. Yeah, this guy has a, a great blog. We've been watching his the last few days where he's hunting alligators, and I'm letting her see that beautiful fish, the big fish tunas, meat. and mine. And she sees now that every fish we eat, we fillet it and make steaks out of it, stuff like that. So that's the only way I like to eat it. I, eating bones to me makes no sense. I don't like to fight with the bones in my teeth or anything else. I love a fillet or I just don't want it. You know, it's just As a kid, yeah, we ate a lot of perch and sacale and brim and all that because we were poor and that's all we could have. Uh, but now when I have fish, I want a nice, you know, my my steak or tuna steak or something like that. You don't we eventually have to be crave for all right, well, that's fish. all she's been talking about. <laughs> uh, right now, for fish now. Well, right now, we eat this cream dory, right? Yeah, cream dory. It's okay. They, the problem is they fillet it too thin. It actually has a, a good texture to it, and it's fine for frying and baking. But because it's so thin, you have to be real careful when you're cooking it. But tonight, what she's going to show you is my favorite snack. Uh, she jokes with me when I'm in a bad mood. She makes these for me, and it shuts <laughs> me up. Uh, she, she calls them Lupia Shanghai. That is, uh, that is one of his favorite. Yeah. I usually make that weekly. So yeah. that it's just it's better than potato chips or anything. It's a great snack. I you know, I like one or so with my breakfast or one just in the afternoon if I get a case of the munchies. And uh, she makes them and puts them in the freezer yeah. so they last you know, we get they'll last us the whole week, you know, unless she goes off to work then I eat them all the day she leaves, <laughs> so then we have to make more. Okay. We will show you how I make my Gigi's version of uh, Lumpia Shanghai. Okay. See you in a while. Hi, we're back. I will show you how I make my Lumpia Shanghai. Okay. We did kind of speed up the process. She went ahead and got all the vegetables done ahead of time. And then I'll let her explain the process on what she does now. Well, uh, for me, I prepared a one egg, grated carrots, this one is celery, chopped celery, and a white onion, and the Shanghai wraps, and the ground pork. The one that you can see here on the top, I grated the um, chicken cubes to for the seasoning to make it a little bit salty, and I put all the seasoning I have. Show them the good stuff at the this end. This is my Papa Bear's favorite. It's kind of funny for me because it's the first time I um, saw these words, Lapia Mama. Hmm. <laughs> 
Everybody in South Louisiana is laughing right now. Cayenne pepper, paprika, this one is cumin, and then I put most of the um, food that I cook, I usually put oregano leaves. So and then we tried it, it turned out pretty good, but it was a little bit spicy for her. We also put, they have a different version of jalapenos here. And we did a jalapeno one, which I loved. It was good. But to me, they're not real spicy, but Gigi doesn't really care for them at all. So what I'm going to do is you need to put the... And just put all together. Put all together. My Shanghai is different from Shanghai outside because some of those Shanghais, they uh, make it with uh, the meat is not cooked. But what I did on Papa Bear's um, Shanghai, I pre-cooked the meat. And she does that for me because I'm I'm very paranoid about water and meat and stuff. I I, I got sick the six or seven years ago when I came here the first time, and I'm just I'm extra careful. And I love to have carrots and vegetables, so it will be healthy. So put the egg. I don't actually have um, measurement on it. Everybody in South Louisiana laughs if you try to take measurement. We just say a pinch of this, a dash of that. Yeah. You, we eyeball everything. And I usually don't taste the one that I cook. I usually call it Papa Bear. Papa Bear, come over, taste this one. So. And for the people laughing about the red refrigerator in the background, I had no say so with that. I was in America and sent her the money, and I came home to my red refrigerator. Actually, our family loved the color red, but I'm pretty sure Papa Bear loved the color red. Because uh -huh. he admired a red car, and he loved the couch that we were checking on the um, mall. So, I we'll see. Red color. I said the couch will match my refrigerator. <laughs> That's her logic. Everything should match. But this okay. is this is what we do in the evenings. As I pan around, I will show you. I'm probably going too fast, but tonight we had lots of rain all day, so we can put the fan outside and we get nice cool air. Very nice. This is mine and Gigi's workspace. This is where we watch the, the blogs. That's where we watch the one now. Uh, that's her favorite one right now. I just realized that was Nellie she sees on there. Um, but basically, the news has gotten so depressing that we just do this. We watch blogs or we find something on Netflix to watch. But we try to stay away from the news because it just puts you in such a bad mood these days. So it's good thing it's raining. Cool the place. So everything is mixed now. Okay, and then after I wrap it, I will um, fry and make a sample for Papa Bear. Yeah, I have to do the official taste testing. <laughs> okay, and then we'll just show you later. Okay. Alright, this is my favorite part. This is the <laughs> taste test. This is how they look when she's wrapping them. Yep. All right, and these wrappers she doesn't really like, but we went to the market today. We didn't go to the store, so you have to just take what they have. And then this is what they look like for my official taste test. Yep. And then I dip them in this sauce here, but you don't need any sauce. They're good just by themselves. And your favorite sauce? If you have this... Anywhere in America, you ought to get it. It's a fantastic sauce. First time we went here, they have a place, a uh, little restaurant we went to last year. Well, they said sweet chili shrimp. I, I, I was like, yeah, that don't sound so good. It was delicious. They served it with a refried rice, or like a yellow rice, and had this sauce where they marinated this sauce and they made it. It was a fantastic product. But let me tell you something. These here, only bad thing, if you ever get one, you keep eating them and eating them. They're friggin' addictive. They're worse than Lay's potato chip. <laughs> and she goes every once in a while, we'll go to a restaurant or somewhere, uh, not too much lately, but in the past, and we'll buy them there, and they taste like crap. Hers tastes a hundred times better. I don't know what's different. Yeah. 
But I've tried them three or four places. And you I, know what the difference is? Love, right? It is made of love. <laughs> and it's going to be love. But whatever they are, hers are the best, like I said. And I wouldn't even mind trying the um, vegetable ones, you know, with the, the shredded carrot or whatever, and the cabbage in it. Mm -hmm. Because there's such a good crunch to it, and you add the sauce to it. And they're very good. Well, this is our video tonight. We'll do a few more cooking videos because uh, she made curry curry earlier. I will show you if I cook a no, no, chicken curry. The, the most important one, the chicken curry. 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 Her <laughs> chicken curry is fantastic. You know, yeah. so we'll do that one. Because it is made of? Love. Love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Just Please put the comments at the bottom of what you think. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we would like to be able to talk back and answer some questions and stuff like that about living here because I see a lot of vlogs on the other areas of the Philippines, but we're really the only one I see that runs one from this area here in this part of Patanga. So it's a different area to live, and actually we're going to do a video that will be posted soon about the budget of living in this area compared to some of the guys I see saying 2000 and 3000 living down in Cebu. No, you don't need that to live here, I promise you. I will discuss our budget with... It's, mm -hmm. it's different, but right now I'm going to enjoy these. They're very good, and thank you. Mwah. Good night, everybody. And thank you for watching this video, and don't forget subscribe. to like, subscribe. subscribe. Please subscribe. We need to get a bunch <laughs> of subscribers in because that's the only way we know you're getting these videos. So please subscribe, hit like, ring the bell. Hit the bell. And look, I never did this before because I thought it was silly, but we watch some of these others are at 100,000 videos and a million people, you know, all this stuff. So we're going to push the bell a little bit ourselves. So subscribe, push the bell, like. like. And put comments is important. And please put comments. We need the comments to help us get better. Thank you for watching. Good night, See everybody. You in the next God bless video. everybody in America and the Philippines. Good night. Good night.